Stop, 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 stop. Ever thought you could drive a double-decker bus? <laughs> There's plenty of people who think they can, with thousands applying every year. My dream was to drive in London. Here I am. <laughs> Come on, put your foot down. Let's see. For those that make it onto bus driver training, the hard part has just begun. Ah, what we're doing here? A team of specialist instructors has six weeks to whip recruits into shape. What's a bus learn for? It's a course which pushes trainees to their limits. Oh, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. What if I'm going to give up today? <laughs> for the lucky few who make it, yes! a new career beckons behind the wheel of one of the biggest vehicles on the road. You don't want to get on here, love. Trust me. With the lives of over 80 passengers in their hands. <laughs> Welcome to Bustle, Evan. It's early morning at one of London's largest double-decker driving schools, and a new batch of recruits are about to start on Arriva's full-time six-week course. Single mum Claire Carter is hoping that becoming a bus driver will be a smart move. That's going to be me in a minute. The average annual salary of 25 grand is a big incentive. If I do this, then next year, hopefully, I might be able to take my kids on holiday. They're my babies, they're my life. Gopal is one of Arriva's 20 instructors. His job is to turn former delivery driver Claire into a qualified bus driver. Ain't no white van driver now, are we? No, 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 you've got to be a bus driver now. What's this one? It looks like a hair dryer. Dear mister, if that is not working, you cannot take the bus out. My hair dryer's yeah, working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Doing this is going to be a walk in the park compared to bringing up two boys. I hope. This is Claire's first time behind the wheel of a 10-ton double-decker. Right, give a tiny bit of gas, then you release the brake. All she has to do is steer her bus round the yard. So I'm going. Right, where am I going? Forward. I want to see like a bus driver. Come on. Now? No, 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 don't turn it. Don't turn it. Oh, Be no. going that way. You said don't turn it. No, this way. This way. Oh, You're not going okay. that way. Oh, my God. Again, this it's going weird. straight on the weather. We're going Keep sideways. Straight line. Now turn it all the way to go. Cover your brake. Cover your brake. Keep looking both mirrors. Both mirrors. Even in a bus yard, you can still miss what's right in front of you. No, there's a bus disappear. Stop there. Stop what there. Bus? Stop. What Look bus? at the bus coming out. <laughs> what we're doing here? What we're doing here? Lesson one hasn't been the walk in the park Claire had in mind. Can I get off now? My confidence has just been shot to pieces. Still shaking. I'm the one should be shaking, you know? <laughs> so what I wasn't. Don't need to worry about it. You'll be fine. OK, right, I'll take fine. your word for that. But from here on in, it's only going to get tougher. Tomorrow, going to take them on a 60-mile speed road and a narrow road as well. So hopefully, she'll be fine. Oh, God, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. <sighs> Claire's currently one of 50 recruits feeling the pressure. I'm on the phone, a friend. Trainees face six intensive weeks of safety exams. 50 50. And constant assessments of their driving ability. That was great, wasn't it? Going up the bloody curve. All building up to their final nerve wracking driving test. It's a little bit upset at the moment. If they don't maintain the high standard expected, jump out the driving seat. They're off the course. Don't know if I'm coming back Monday. Everybody thinks they're a good driver. That's the problem, bro. 28-year-old Yasin Kasim has left the family home in Gloucester, hoping to fulfil his dreams. My mother is very proud of me because I've moved here by myself. My sister, she's always said, if you give it your 100%, you can do it. Hopefully, they're going to be very proud of me. The sheet goes to the engineers when the bus is running. They will fix anything that's there. Happy with that? Yep. Yaz yeah, is four weeks into the six-week course. He's been working hard to impress his instructor, Mickey Welch. 
This young man is so nice, he buys me sweeties. Yeah, it still doesn't work. <laughs> For Yaz, driving a 36-foot vehicle on unfamiliar roads has been a challenge. And go, he's turning right, you mucker. It is an advantage if you've got local knowledge. OK, we'll turn left then. Don't worry, we'll turn left. But Yasin, he didn't know anywhere. Are we going right here, Mickey? No, you can't turn right <laughs> here. Directions are not your strong point. No, no, no. <laughs> Gloucester's mostly uh, sticks as a very small town. What? So I'm just getting used to the rat race, as they call it. Make sure it's clear before you commit yourself. Said to you, make sure yeah, you went out. Because it was, it was clear. Lost. We've got lost, haven't we? Sense of direction aside, Yaz is a quick learner, and Mickey can see his potential. Great, right, I'm still standing. Excellent. OK, what's the speed limit now? 40. Good boy. Burn some rubber, man. Even though it's a very large vehicle to get used to, I think I caught on, like, pretty quick. Mickey spots a bump in the road that could put an end to Yaz's ambitions. That was a bit too fast, don't you think? Oh, All right, OK. Good. Sometimes he would blame everything but himself. I'm going to pull up at the next bus stop on the left, please, so I can hit you. Right, now, you're going to tell me that speed dump jumped out in front of you now, aren't you? Honestly, didn't see it. Honestly, didn't you? Honestly, Seriously? No, didn't. Oh, move off when you're ready, please. Didn't see it. Some of them think they know it all, but they don't. If you don't listen, you won't last long on this job. Just open your eyes. <laughs> Bloke opened his car door there. You didn't see him? I've seen him. You sure? Yeah, in the mirror. Oh, I was like, well, right, that's it. That's another, <laughs> another sweet that's cost you, son. Yaz has a crucial assessment coming up. Pass, and he'll be put forward for his final driving test. If I do well in my progress check, then hopefully I should get my test. Just want to get through it, to be honest. Training officer Jim Johnson will be expecting a good drive. There's Jimmy! <laughs> and he won't be putting up with any of Yaz's excuses. That'll do ya. You've got the ability. All you got to do is show Jim. Jim is God. Okay. Get it right, cos I want this man to say, put him on test next week. It's kind of registering, like, definitely now. Just think of the examiner as my instructor, cos I get along pretty well with Mick. So, you know, fingers crossed. Meanwhile, Claire is about to take her bus out onto the road for the first time. Here is all my best friend. And she's just a little on edge. Ooh, I'm not anxious about driving the bus. I'm anxious to do it right. And there's a lot to get right. Off the gas pedal, off the gas pedal. Don't take your hands off. Move forward, are move we... forward. Now move forward. we oh, got to turn left. Now look, we are already in the curb now. Oh, yeah. Think about your rear wheel. Don't worry, yeah, oh, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So much to take in. Don't worry. Oh, God, go for it. I'm shaking. In a 10 ton double decker, you can't afford to miss a thing. Gently, 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 gently. That's oh, all right, don't worry. Now, relax, okay? You've got to do it. Come on. You want to relax a bit for a while? Yeah? You are? Yeah? Okay, I'll tell you what. Right, put it on neutral. Put it on neutral. Right, come outside for a second. Yeah, come outside for a few minutes. Relax, relax. Man, at the crossing. Is anyone been injured? Anything happened? Nothing, isn't it? All you did, you were brake a little bit heavy. So what's the problem? Jeez. What's the problem? At the end of the day, you're going to learn. This is what all about. We was literally on the zebra crossing, and that just shook me, because I didn't see him fighting the life out of me. So I want to prove to myself that I can do it, but yeah, I think it's going to be tough. Coming up, is this the end of the road for Claire? Oh, oh, oh! And testing times ahead for Yaz. I'm not here to argue no, with I'm you. No, I'm not here to argue with you, but yes, I'm trying to, I'm trying to explain to you yeah, how it works.
Every year in London, 2.4 billion passengers take the bus. And there's a constant demand for people to drive them. Single mum Claire is back behind the wheel after an emotional first few days of training. Oh my god! What am I doing here? Gently, 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 gently. When I got home, I was talking to my eldest son, saying, oh, I don't think I can do this. And he was like, mother, behave, pull yourself together, you can do this. There we go. Claire's now getting up to speed with the help of her instructor, Gopal. Now, come on, put your foot down, let's see. Are we doing 40 miles speed yet? It's not getting there. We're doing 30, is that all right? No, I want to do 40. Oh, you're in the laugh. Grab the steering, drive it. Her confidence growing, Gopal gets Claire to navigate her 36-foot long bus around a tight bend without losing her nerve. Have a look at the left-hand mirror. Don't play with the steering too much either. Just hold it. That's it. Let the bus do the work. It's the islands. It's like you feel like you're going to hit you the island. You won't hit it. Trust me. Now we go. Bring it around a bit more. Take your time. Think about what's coming towards you. Oh, oh. <laughs> No, you've done nothing wrong. You're right, yeah? yeah, yeah right. I had everything chucked at me. Complete nightmare. But it's not put me off. I need to do this for myself and my kids. Remember, there's a only one good driver. You know who that good driver is? It's you! Yaz is getting closer to achieving his bus driving ambitions. Ready for this? Deep breath. Today, he will be having his driving assessed by training officer Jim. If Yaz impresses, he'll be granted his final test. Just drive like I've shown you. Listen to what Jimmy says to you. Think before you act. Good morning. You're the victim. Yaz has left everything behind to try and secure his dream job. My family think it's a big step moving from Gloucester to London. But when it comes to my career, I have to give it my 100%, and I have to focus on it at all times as well. So it's very important to me. After four weeks of driving, he's mastered London's roads. Burn some rubber, man. However, he finds it difficult to admit when he's wrong. Oh, oh, Honestly, right, that's it. Guy. A bad drive, and he'll only have himself to blame. Left at the traffic lights. To get his test, Yaz has got to show he can read the road ahead. What's a bus lane for? Avoid congestion. What's wrong with you moving into it? These are hardly moving. Couldn't even see these traffic lights from all the way back there. With 35 years' experience, Jim's heard it all before. When you're out there, you think you're the world's best driver until you come into the driving school. And that's when they come down with a bang. And we're going to take the next turning right. Jim's not happy. Pull up at the bus stop. What happened turning right? You're positioning. Couldn't, because there was a lorry there. Move off when you're ready. Jim isn't just examining Yaz's driving ability. He wants to see the right attitude. We should have the best of the best. You'd have to make sure that the guys that we are putting through are the right calibre of person that the company want. Right, switch it off. So you can relax now, can't you? Well, I can relax anyway. What do you think of that drive? Could have been so, better. It could have been a lot better. One, you're letting your nerves get to you. Two, you're positioning. Well, you said that I could see the traffic lights all the way back there. Yeah. It's impossible you could see the traffic lights all the way back there because there's loads of high, so high sided vehicles, I, so that's I'll five foot high. I, 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 I can see it back there. Yeah. If you can't see it, you're not reading and planning your road yeah. far enough ahead. We impeded the black Audi. Yeah, he was coming way too fast. You're trying to blame someone else again. No, I'm not trying to blame someone. Like, I've right. seen the black car way <coughs> before you did. You no, know you didn't. That. Yes, no, I did. You... Listen, I'm not yeah. here to argue with no, you. No, I'm not here to argue with you, but yeah, I'm just trying to I'm give you trying my point to explain to you yeah, how it works, yeah. yeah? 
Jim's heard enough. Can you drive back? Calm down, Jim. What? Problem with attitude there. Yeah. He doesn't like being told what to do. Yeah. I'll tell him when he's cooled down a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's no test inside there. No. Yaz won't get a driving test until he accepts some home truths. So they just, they just check it, like, how well you've done and stuff like that. Yeah. John, I've got to go now, Mum, anyway. All right, Mum. All right, Mum. All right, I'll speak to you later, Mum, all right? All right, I love you, Mum. All right, could I have this? That shot him down a little bit. He was expecting to be put on test. It was wrong to criticise Jimmy. He's here to help. I'm here to help. And if you don't want us to help you, there's the door. One week of training under her belt, Claire faces a crucial assessment. Her first driving inspection. Oh, go, Paul. I feel no, sick. You'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just want to get over and done with. Training officer Graham has to decide if she's making enough progress. It's make or break in some cases. That assessment scenario adds a little bit of pressure and we can see how they cope under that pressure. Very quick, one hour is over. It's an hour's drive. Oh, OK. Hello. Nervous? Yeah. So the more you relax, the better you can be. Graham's not expecting the journey to be faultless, <sighs> but he is expecting to get out of the yard. In your own time. Oh, God, I don't even really put it in drive. <sighs> Once on the road, Claire's in no mood to hang about. Oh, stay there. <sighs> this drive could be over more quickly than expected. Traffic lights. Good experience, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Oh, God. Is it nearly finished? That's out of luck. Graham's decided it's time to take a breather. It's hyperventilating just a little bit. Yeah, you can't carry on an hour of being that tense. Yeah. Drive on when you're ready, please. Okay. God, I'm still shaking. If Claire's ever to carry passengers, she'd better not lose her head. Are going to get under that bridge? Yeah, no, we're not going to get under there, so it's the second road on the right, please. The progress check's finally over. Part of the bus. Abandon the bus. Abandon the bus, yeah. <laughs> now you can relax. You still breathing? It wasn't awful, but wheel speed sometimes was too fast. Yeah, it's not too much to work on. Um, just be confident in yourself as much as you can, because we're building you up for driving tests, but ultimately it's about when you pass your driving test, you're going to go out there and be safe day in, day out. Any questions? Can I go now? Can you go now? <laughs> oh, let's get off this bus. Claire's been given two more weeks to improve. I'm hoping that she can overcome some of that fear factor. If we reduce it by 50%, she's going to be a lot better. I'm glad it's over. I'm still shaking. I didn't calm down at all, all the way through. Got to sort the nerves out, but I think it'll come. I be aware. Yaz has now had time to reflect on his disastrous progress check with training officer Jim. What? Excellent. Well, I apologise to him for start, yeah. And I actually thought, you know, he's been driving for God knows how many years. He's my elder. I'll always respect my elders and uh, just take on his advice. Mickey's helped him see the error of his ways. Next exit, you know, mucker. Good boy, we're cooking now, aren't we, son? After an extra week of training, Yas has finally been granted his test. And today's the day. I just said a little prayer, you know, just to keep my nerves calm and stuff. And obviously, my mum knows I've got my exam this morning, so she's probably doing a few prayers for me as well. For the next 90 minutes, it's just Yaz and an independent examiner. 
is a good driver. He's just got to pass that test. Apart from driving it for him, I can't do anything more. Yaz must keep a cool head and let his driving do the talking. The test is over. But will he have good news to phone home about? Well, yes, and that's the end of the test. I'm pleased to have you pass. Congratulations. Thank you. There's your test pass certificate. Well done. Thank you, Stephen. OK. Thank you. I can't wait to call my mum and tell my mum the good news. She's been more nervous than I am. I think she'll be really, really pleased with me. Yeah, I think she's gone out. Mickey has transformed a rookie into a real bus driver to keep London moving. Should be proud of that. That's what it's all about. Well done. You've earned it. Can you give me a hug right. at least? No, no hugs. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps his nose clean and he does what he's told. He's got a, a career for life. You know I'm going to miss you, right? Who's going to buy me sweets now? Five weeks after passing his test, Yaz is boss of his own bus. Today, he's on the 242. Good morning. How are you doing? Driving passengers from Hackney to central London and loving every minute of it. I'm getting myself set in London. I'm a workaholic. You a little bit. But in the capital's rush hour, there are plenty of people with opinions on his driving. No, you pressed the bell too late, sir. Yeah, you were speeding. You pressed the bell too late. Speed limit is 20 miles per hour. It's the job, you know. you just got to be patient with it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, you're holding the whole bus up now, yeah? Hello? Right Why didn't you just go on that one? Excuse me. Can you move down the bus a bit, please, yeah? However, he still has to have the last word. What are you doing? I don't lose my cool or anything. I just actually, I just get on with it. You should come on your lane, not on my lane. You all right? Try to bully me, mate. I've got a 40 foot bus out here. Next time. Oh, God. It's D Day for Claire. You weren't prying back there, were you? And now I sweat. And new recruit Manuel feels the heat. This will be a fail, so you've got a lot of work to do. All right? Head over to ITV2 next if you fancy some hit US drama as Scorpion continues. And next here on ITV, meet the couples as they face the highs and lows of a multiple pregnancy in new documentary. The triplets are coming next.